Okay, so here we have an extreme motherboard based on the X79 chipset. Actually, it's uh, held Intel C606 for Xeon servers setups. So it has a uh, lots of storage support, many of them which are SAS capable, those in blue, <coughs> and uh, ECC DIMM support, and it even has uh, uh, debug LEDs and uh, power on reset buttons all clearly and easily accessible. Okay, so Gigabyte has a Set up, set up over here to show us exactly what it can do with an NVIDIA Quadro 4000 and an NVIDIA Tesla C2075. So the combination of these products will give you a extreme home workstation setup which will be a lot cheaper to DIY than buy a Dell or HP equivalent. And there's eight SAS hard drives on this machine. Uh, these are conventional hard drives if you can see through. Hey Hunter, you can take it away. Yeah. Sure. So basically, I gotta do two demos here. Okay. One's uh, Adobe Premiere. Mm -hmm. We gotta do is uh, post special event on a different video stream. And we will see the, how the CUDA processing can do when you try to do very special event for your video. Okay? So let's uh, launch. Okay, and let me open my previous project here. Okay. And you can see here all the 16 threads from this Xeon uh, CPU is ready. Okay, so basically this uh, clip I have here. Okay, basically I have the four different clip, three different clip here. I'll redo the, all the animation together. Okay, and we're gonna compare using the GPU computing compared to pure CPU computing. Don't forget, I using the A core Xeon processor, A core with a 16 thread. Supposedly it should be very powerful, but let's see. So I gonna switch the processing from CPU. Right now, software only means using a CPU to do all the calculation. Okay. So let's do it and let's see, let's run and do the processing. You will see your CPU rate on, jump up almost 100% very high usage, but still your graphic is very choppy because the CPU design is not particular design just for video editing or special effect. Okay, so basically you won't get very smooth, you will be get very choppy. Also afraid if you trying to switch to frame by frame, you very hard to find the right frame because it's very choppy. Okay, now we're gonna switch to GPU processing. I go my project setting, go general. I switch to GPU acceleration. Okay, so right now when I turn on GPU acceleration, Let's play a game, okay? You will see, everything so smooth. You run more than 30 frames per second, all the post special effect doing at the same time, and you're remaining pretty low CPU usage, about 27% to up to 50%, so your system is still 3D, you can do something else, okay? And also, when I pause the clip, and I'm trying to fast forward to different frames, you will see major difference. I can clearly to capture each frame by frame animation. So that's a GPU do, do heavy special effect.